Welcome back to the channel, guys. In today's video, we're gonna be going over the perfect minimalistic camera backpack setup. So after traveling for years and years with heavy camera backpack setups, uh, my back has really been paying for it. And honestly, most of the time I find myself not even using 50 or even 60% of the stuff that I have taken along with me uh, for my travels. That all being said, I decided to make a minimalistic setup for my camera backpack, just taking the bare essentials for what I need uh, when I go out for shoots or little mini trips. Luckily, my friends over at Bravanti sent me over this uh, very nice backpack to make this video. And the actual model of this backpack is called the Jumper. I got it in the pine green color. And after using it for the last few weeks, I've been able to kind of crack down on exactly what to pack this thing with to bring me the ultimate minimalistic camera backpack. So if you guys are new here, my name is Judson Robertson. I run a successful creative agency that generates just a little bit over $60,000 per month. And on this channel, I cover gear reviews, how to make money inside of the business, and of course, some self-help videos. So if that's something that you guys are interested in, go ahead and check out my channel, check out some of my other videos, and as always, hit that subscribe button. With that out out of the way, let's get right into the video. So the very first part of the backpack and my minimalistic backpack setup is going to be the main pocket on the front of this backpack. So once we get that all zipped open, you'll see that there's just four little pouches in there. Um, and I've actually only used three of them. Before I go any farther, remember that I'm trying to keep the bare minimum on a day-to-day -to, -day to make sure that the backpack setup is as light as possible um, and I'm not taking a bunch of extra things that I really don't need. So that all being said, I have this dual USB-C charger that I use to charge my MacBook Air and also my uh, iPhone. 15 a pro as they both use USB-C. That can also come in handy for when I need to charge something else like my Apple Watch or just any other, you know, product that might need another USB-C power hub. Next, I have just a simple USB-C to USB-C power cable and moving into the next pocket, I have my external SSD for terabyte, which I use to carry a lot of my current projects. And I'll use that SSD to back up all the SD cards when I am currently on a shoot. Moving into the third pocket that I'm using, and it's just an extra Sony battery for my Sony A7R5. And guys, that's pretty much all I have in the front pocket. Um, I just literally am taking the essentials, getting that extra battery, some extra space, and of course, a charger. So now we are going to be moving into the main pocket of my uh, backpack. So as you guys can see, this is a camera backpack, so it has dividers in there, uh, which allows you to keep your lenses, your camera, uh, organized inside of the backpack. So you don't have to open up the top of the backpack, reach down into it and grab all your stuff. And if you guys have a camera backpack or know about other camera backpacks, it's pretty common. So the first thing that I have is going to be my DJI Osmos Pocket 3. I absolutely love this thing. I took it on my recent trip to Switzerland. I actually have been using it to shoot a few of my YouTube videos. And guys, I absolutely love this Osmos Pocket 3. And the cool thing is, is that the whole case of the Pocket 3 fits in this backpack. So as you guys can see, um, I already, I have a DJI mic. I have an extra external battery for the Osmo. I have lenses in there and D filters. Um, and I even have a tripod stand um, all in this little case that fits right here in the top of my backpack. So moving down below, I actually have my Sony a7R5. Guys, I also have an a7S3 and also an FX6, but since this is my everyday carry uh, minimalistic camera backpack, I just use the R5. Why? Because it takes very, very high-end photos and then you can also shoot S-Log3 10-bit right on this camera. So it's really everything you need in one. It's a very, very high-end photography camera and a very high-end video camera. So really the best of both worlds 
um, when it comes to what I need on a day-to-day -day basis. And I have paired on that the 24 uh, 1.4 G Master Prime Lens with an ND filter right there on the top. This is my favorite setup when it comes to trying to be as lightweight as possible. Um, and yes, it is a prime lens, so you can't zoom in and get all of these creative shots. However, um, I think that 24 is a great vocal length um, to be able to capture lots of different images and video when you're on the go. So moving into my last pocket, guys, um, and this is something that I've been carrying on me pretty recently, and it's going to be this Kodak disposable camera. I've been using this to capture um, just in the moment pictures and I'm really excited to send it in and get that film back. So guys, that's everything that's going to be in the main pocket of my backpack. So now we're going to move into the top. And guys, in the top of the backpack, all I really have in there is my Apple charger. Um, of course, it's USB-C, so I can use that brick to both power my laptop and also my iPhone. Um, and because it is the bigger power bank, it will charge both of those devices much faster. And then we have just a little compartment, you know, right on top where I hold just an extra pair of sunglasses. Moving into the laptop sleeve of this backpack, I just have my MacBook Air in there. Um, I don't use this computer to do all of my editing. All I really use it to do is transfer photos and video on the go or answer emails, mainly because it's such a lightweight device. It's very easy to just keep in the backpack at all times. So now moving in to the back of the backpack. So um, guys, in this on this backpack, we actually have a suitcase sleeve. So you can put this on the back of a suitcase, no problem. And then we also have a secret compartment back here that I've used with a lot of other backpacks. Um, and it's really good to put in a wallet or to put in a passport or something that you just don't want easy access to in terms of when you're walking around the city or traveling. I typically throw an Apple AirTag in these little pouches and when I am going overseas, um, I usually do throw my passport in there because it's nice and secretive. Now moving on to the side pocket here, you guys can actually use a tripod. I've actually been able to throw my little portable gimbal in there on the side, um, which is uh, does add some extra weight. So I don't normally walk around with that gimbal, but if it's something that you wanted to do, this pack pack does do a great job of holding a little mini gimbal. Um, and it does keep it out of the inside of the bag. So it's really easy to access and just kind of, you know, throw the gimbal in there without having to deconstruct it and rebuild it up every time you want to use it. And the last uh, kind of cool feature about this backpack and just my setup in general is the side pocket right here, which will allow you to just kind of quickly pull out the camera when you're on the go, shoot it and move it back. And uh, just a quick review on the actual backpack, guys. This backpack is a very stylish, simplistic look backpack, but it's definitely quality. So for $170, um, you're definitely gonna get a quality backpack. Um, and I do have some other camera backpacks that I use, but they are nowhere near as tiny, portable, small, and simplistic as this specific bag. And this truly is my minimalistic backpack setup. Some people might say, oh, why don't you throw in a bunch of extra things like extra cables, extra SDs, extra that. That's not the purpose of this backpack or the setup for me. Because again, I want to keep it as simple as possible, as lightweight as possible. And guys, from a day-to-day, -day, uh, at least for my day-to-day, -day, I don't always need a lot of extra things on my back. So um, being able to keep this as light as possible, as tiny as possible, is definitely what I'm trying to go for using this backpack. So if you guys actually want to pick up this backpack, I will put down a link down in the description and I'll actually be able to provide you guys with a discount code as well. Uh, that will also be down in the description. Hopefully this video kind of inspires you to, you know, not have to take everything out on your day to day and try to keep things down smaller and compact. Cause guys, I promise you it's going to help your back and uh, if you're anything like me or who I used to be in the past, I would always put so much stuff in my bag because I would think of all these things that could possibly go wrong, but I would almost never use them. So try to kind of use that mindset going into 
uh, you know, looking for a new backpack or looking for a new setup and try to keep it as small and lightweight as possible. That's all I've got for you guys today. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Subscribe for more gear review videos. And as always, guys, peace out.